Hi, this is Gamesa, Mike Golding, sailing on the Transatlantic B2B, day three, um, and I'm just getting into my stride. Um, right now I've had uh, decent rest, I've eaten some proper food, and uh, importantly, in the first three days of the race anyway, we proved to be pretty competitive. So, all positive there, um, even against some of the newer boats which uh, is a relief to know that we have uh, conditions where we are not just competitive but actually uh, a fast, faster boat and um, everything's fine on board, had a few problems uh, at the beginning with a daggerboard line that failed, uh, we didn't think, I didn't think we were going to be able to fix it but uh, managed to rescue it with a, a bit of batten and, uh, and uh, a knife and hook it up from the box and get it reattached so that's fine. Also had a problem with the um, engine oil, all the engine oil was dumped into the bilge, uh, um, a fitting broke inside the engine bay and all the oil poured out. So I uh, had to um, uh, collect all that oil clean it, put it back in the engine, but that's all fine now. So, no problems on Gamesa, everything's, uh, everything's good. And um, right now we're just heading into a, a high pressure system, so we've had some fairly um, strong trade winds, which we've been crossing over the last 12 hours. Uh, it swells up to sort of eight meters. Uh, there's a lot of crashing and banging. The boat's been well tested. Uh, and well shaken and stirred. I feel quite shaken and stirred myself. But um, right now, everything's fine. It's easing down, moderating. And uh, in the next 12 hours or so, we'll have to make some pretty crucial tactical decisions and um, monitoring the weather, the two weather models, and uh, trying to pick which one is most likely to be right. But uh, from here, the route does look like it's going to get much quicker. So uh, that's all it from Gamesa, and uh, speak to you later.